All right, welcome to part five of our series on photosynthesis. And this episode is just going to cover this slide because we're going to go over the structure of a chloroplast. Now, chloroplasts are really important because they are the plant organelle where photosynthesis is going to occur. And they're also rather unique. They're very similar to a mitochondrion in the fact that they have more than one membrane, they have their own DNA, and they go through a division that's very close to like what a prokaryotic cell or a bacterium would do. So it's believed that these guys were evolved from photosynthetic bacteria that were brought into a cell millions upon millions of years ago. Okay, And that's called the endosymbiont theory. But we just really need to learn two parts of a chloroplast to help us through this chapter. All right? Now, photosynthesis itself happens in two steps. And each of these steps are going to happen in one of these two parts. So the first part we're going to go over is the thylakoid. Now, the thylakoid is green because this is where the chlorophyll is found. All right? So if you watched episode four, you would have just learned this one. So chlorophyll is found here. And in fact, this is the only part of a plant that's green. So if you look at grass, uh, the leaves on a tree, or basically any kind of plant, they're so green because there's so many chloroplasts in these things. Uh, because the only thing that's green are these little poker chips right here. All right. So I always thought of chloroplast, or I'm sorry, as thylakoids, like little green poker chips. Okay. Now, we do need to know this one right here, granum. This is a stack of poker chips, and I always remembered it like this, is that Granny likes to stack her poker chips. So think of a granum as a stack of those chips. Now, there's more than one stack in here, so the word grana is plural. So we'll put this equals plural. Okay, so this is one granum. This is one, two, three, grana. Okay? Now, the light-dependent reactions occur in the thylakoid membranes because the light-dependent reactions have to have chlorophyll helping it. So that one's going to be really, really easy to remember. Okay? Now, the second part is stroma, and this is the liquid outside the, the thylakoids. Okay, so the stroma is a liquid uh, outside of the thylakoids. Get this written down here. Whoops, almost misspelled thylakoid. There we go. Okay, so think of this as kind of like a water balloon that's got these stacks of poker chips inside of it. And then this area right in here that's between these poker chips, that's the stroma. And so they got it labeled right over in here. Now, don't get confused by this picture. These yellow things are not the stroma. This should be pointing down over here at the space right in here. Okay. These here are just lamellae that help connect and make sure that these poker chips stay standing straight up, all right? But we're not going to worry about that one, okay? The Calvin cycle, which is the second part of photosynthesis, is going to occur in the stroma. So let's do a little quick review, okay? Chloroplast is the site of photosynthesis. It's got two major parts. Number one is the thylakoid. They're little green poker chips. A stack of poker chips is called a granum. Stacks of poker chips are called gran a. Okay? The light dependent reactions are going to occur in the thylakoids. The Calvin cycle is going to occur in the stroma, which is this empty space, which is just a fluid surrounding the thylakoids. Okay? This is a very short episode. We're only covering this one slide, but this is really important. You need to make sure that you know the structure of the chloroplast because it's going to make the rest of these screencasts make sense to you. Okay? Until episode six, we're going to catch you on the flip side.